Well, here we are. <laughs> welcome to day one of the Renaissance. Uh, happy Monday. Uh, welcome back to anyone who's uh, coming back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and uh, and uh, leave a like, comment. And for those of you who are leaving uh, comments down below, what you want to see me react to and stuff like that, I'm making notes. I'm, uh, you know, putting in the notes of the ones that are catching my interest and things like that as far as names, titles, or whatever the case. Um, I'm really excited for this. I, I know uh, I've been reading every comment, and the tails have to be on there. That that one came in almost every time, and people were saying you have to do all of them. So this is going to be a longer video. Um, I do want to thank everyone for all the comments, all the all the kind words, and, and staying in touch. Um, I'm really doing the best I can with this being a new channel and everything, and you know, hope I'm doing doing it right, doing it justice. Um, I'm really excited to get into this. I, you know, like I said before, came into this with no intent of reacting to one artist, but you know, I reacted to Ren when it was requested, and uh, as soon as it it came through, um, the the numbers started coming with it heavily, and you know, starting off this first video, if you look back to one of my first few videos, um, the person that recommended Ren was named Victor Morgan seven seven six six. So I want to definitely give that person a shout out because this has drastically changed the course of this channel as far as you know the the intent with it and and what the um, the plan was behind it and things like that. Like still sticking to the same plan and everything, but I never thought in a million years that it would you know take off like it did and i am i am forever grateful to every one of you i enjoy interacting with y'all and, and really appreciate y'all so this is a little bit longer video uh, i wanted to start off by saying that and say thank you and welcome to the renaissance here we are we made it so uh getting into the tale of jenny and screech all three this video right now let it ride and y'all yeah, give my comments toward the end of what i think maybe a couple throughout but we'll see how it goes and with Ren, you never know. Catch me off guard at any second like he usually does, right? <laughs> All right. Hold up, man. He's gonna make me end up stopping. I don't want to stop, but look, this man came in with the guitar. Is this something he typically does? The the sounds with his his voice and everything, because it's it's really cool. I learned from the last video, you know, high rend that it was the haunting and things like that, and now he's doing a trumpet and sounds. Man, he sounds phenomenal doing this. And then being, you know, the the one camera thing I've noticed in the last two videos, it, it looks like we're going into that already. But then he comes in singing. He has that that same cadence as uh, what was it? Uh, Warren G's Regulators. You remember the hook on that? It was uh, the Kenta G side in the LBC. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to him. A dark night in the empty street somewhere at London City. <laughs> Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking gang with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul 
As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalag. <laughs> I'm just sitting there thinking, while he's doing that walking down the street, I wonder if people knew he was going to shoot this video or if he was just walking through the street screaming like this. And uh, I'm getting the story. So Jenny was walking home and Screech is James. I think he says his real name. And he's, he sounds like he's like, he's out of it. On, on like being doped up and all and he's trying to rob her so that's that's what i'm getting so far and he's painting the picture by her by her walking down the street and he's in the street and then they meet i mean it bitch are you listening to me jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night she tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes what the hell are you playing that you playing games with me i swear to fucking god don't slice the rosy off your cheeks you think i don't mean it go you don't know me the last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Don't get caught yes. in the uninsured current Get protected with progressive yeah, get protected. All right. I'm assuming we're going to the next one because the bar down here. But look, so what I'm gathering from this so far, she was walking home, but she was trying to escape something, and he ran into her, and then he ended up killing her. And now we're getting into his story. So maybe, maybe we're getting into his side of it or how he ran into her, so... Or what happened after? So let, let's get let's get right into this. I'm excited for this. This is a good story. He paints such a picture with his words, and you notice like the guitars, like he'll pick it up when when Screech came around. He's like ding 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 ding, and and he's painting the picture while walking as well. Like I love that about him. This dude is he's something else. <laughs> Disappeared. 
Patrick, man. Let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Hey babe, are you in? Now nah, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! <sighs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the... This man is a genius. You hear how he's knocking on the guitar and then he's breathing right into the mic and everything like that? He, his... He almost does, it's almost along the lines of giving you a play, an act, a movie, all while using everything around him. The, the scenery, the camera, the, the guitar, the, I mean, the breathing, the walking, everything he's doing. That's why I keep looking at the background like, man, he's leaving something somewhere. I've got to catch it. <laughs> but this is, he's, he's mad. He, he's trying to find refuge and he can't find it. God. <sighs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay So, yeah, so the cops found him that's that's what we're at now. Okay, let's see how this goes. To run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his yeah, blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts. Let's fucking have you then. I am Screech. I'm the boss. I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets. And they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he did and think he'd see was a boy running at him like an animal possessed with no time to hesitate he fired four bullets at screech's chest Ooh. oh the camera dang the way he did that with the guitar ah oh, story it ends right to the star young screech and poor jenny lying one street apart enough it's so shaken by the boy that he claimed two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame it's such a shame mm. What he did with his voice right there. Oh, that fade out. It's like he died. Oh, they're bringing him back to life? Limu, let's go oh help the customers God. and save with Liberty Come Mutual. on, Limu. Never mind. <laughs> Eve to me is basically we'll get past this. It's a Don't giant worry. open universe where you. All right. Oh, no, we're at Violet, okay. Violet. Does this have something to do with high rent? Or would this come after? Because I'm just saying the hospital gown and all, maybe he's portraying Violet. I don't know, let's see where this goes. I'm, I'm maybe thinking too far into it now. Y'all don't got me spinning my head around this like, oh, a hospital gown and high rent. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see where this goes. His guitar licks are serious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Are these the hauntings? Is that why he's looking around? London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beeps and blood stains, she saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale Hold on, it's 2005, we gotta rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale so is this before Ginny and Screech? Let's see what this goes. I'm, like I said, I may be thinking too much into it at this point. Now I'm all excited. I like the story. It's insane. Time for Violet's Tale. Oh, he pops those chords. A silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night. I love how he, he knows where to go. He, the way he uses the acoustics for everything to get the sound that he wants for stuff is like as soon as he stepped in that hallway and started telling the story, it started reverbing like crazy. Sounds great. All right, let's hear the story. Was a silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was drinker and her father was a bastard every night he took a tie but never left the room Hello, i'll you. spare you with the things he did i'm sure her mother knew violet was a silent girl she moved out at 16 a semi-detached council flat paid for by a welfare scheme packing shelves at tesco stacking jars like pickled bricks she met a boy named stevie and he was a little prick violet was a silent girl and violet she fell fast see stevie was the wrong and the knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie But never left the room History repeats itself He'd paint her black and blue And dark oh. She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance See how he threw his voice up And then he brought it back down and they talked about the devil down. Oh, let's see that again. She never stood a chance. She fall down the, the stairs. The devil comes to dance. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit Man, there's so much right there, good. God. So, Violet's terrified. She's hiding from him because he's drunk and abusive. What's Violet's full story? So, like, is this like a story of, this was her parents or something, it said? And then, I don't remember, but the the bar he said right there, the, the fist, hold on. Why are you lying to me, Violet? And then this camera work, look at this. This is like, imagine you're Violet looking at this. Violet, she stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. That's the sound of, of his fist when he fall like a crashing pilot. Sound of the fist, boom, when the plane hits, when it falls like a crashing pilot. It's coming down, boom, boom. And he's painting her face black and blue. Man, this is... 
So she's in an abusive relationship, right? That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Man, you so talk about getting hit like a hailstorm, right? Just boom, 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 just constantly getting hit, and then the 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 scheme right there, the dead, the dead, the break, the get, the bow, like. He constantly changes his patterns up throughout and it keeps you very entertained. Force full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack. One to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. She's staying in character. Wait. Say something, Violet. Oh. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet, she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon Wait, 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 wait Violet went to the doctor, she's nine months pregnant You have a baby at nine months Hold on, hold on, hold on I mean, I look broke her silence and she cried if I'm to die right here tonight please let my baby stay alive Did he s Please let my babies stay alive. Did he say baby or babies? Hold on, we got, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not letting this fly. I think I got something going. Here. She was Hold nine on. months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City. Far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive. A tragedy or a miracle, it happened on these very streets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We had to rewind to before their time to tell Violet's story. Violet was pregnant, and he said, Babies, that's two. And at the end of the other song or songs, it said this story ends where it began or begins where it ended. Did she have where? Hold on. Uh, hold on. It's, it's coming in. Hold on. I'm trying to see what I want to say now. Hold on. So was she pregnant with both of them and they were separated and she went to a foster home? And that was the abusive side of things. And then as they grew up, he was in the alcoholic side of things. Just like the father. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, oh my, I might be thinking too far into this. So, all right. One more time. All right, so. So she was pregnant, got killed. Father was abusive. Son was abusive. Son was in the streets. She stayed silent and in character. Just like when she froze, like the liquid nitrogen in the streets. So she's like her mom. He's like the dad. They ran into each other because they didn't know each other from foster care. He killed his sister. The cops killed him. Twins are beside each other at birth. They come into the world bloody. And then they both died the same night. And the story ended where it began. Or began where it ended. Or start, started from the beginning. 
Oh man, what a twist. All right, let's end this. Three two twins align side by side. Three two twins align side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. No. He killed his own, not only sister, but twin. Wow, what a story. Look, all right, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to keep dwelling into this. I've already wrapped my brain around this enough. I should have reacted to one and y'all would ate me up, but y'all said do all three. So I did all three and it painted a movie in my head. Like this guy, he, Ren writes stories with his instruments and the scenes around him and the camera work and, and the knocking and the pitching of his voice. And man, that's messed up. <laughs> is that, is that a real story? I really don't have a clue. I got to go look now. Now I want to find out. <laughs> but look, all right, enough of that. This is a long video, I'm sure. Hey, thank y'all for being here. Happy Renaissance Day 1. Happy Monday. Hope y'all have a great week. I'm going to do what I can to make it better. Um, keep leaving me suggestions down below. Um, what do y'all think is coming next? I'm pretty sure y'all got a good idea, especially the... The ones that have been around Ren for a while. But uh, the next one is, I, I can tell you now, is uh, it's going to be good. I don't know what it is yet, but I already got it in my head, and I know which one we're doing. So just be ready for it. Comment down below. Keep commenting. Let me know uh, what all you want to see me react to because we still got three days after um, after tomorrow, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what pops up on my radar. Um, I appreciate y'all. honestly do. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I hope you had a great day. And uh, – We'll see you on the next one.